Greetings from the video. I'm actually at the top of Hard Knock Pass. Some of the stats, it is 2.2 kilometers long. It is an average of 13% with maximum gradients of, I think, 33%. Right, let's get in to the power data. I'm going to st say again, I didn't do like an all out effort just because this is the first time I've actually been able to ride the whole thing. I've attempted it, if you saw my other video, I've attempted it three times um, and this is my fourth time, but the other three times I had to stop because it was just, it was a few years ago, I got so steep and I just panicked and put my foot down. But today is the first day I'm so excited because I actually got up the whole thing. And so, yeah, I'm actually going to, you've probably seen by the length of the video i'm not actually going to cut any out of it because obviously this is the steepest hill in england and i kind of want you to see the whole thing so even if you're potentially going to go and ride it you kind of know what's to come and know which corners are the tough ones so yeah it is going to be a long video so maybe grab a drink get comfy and we'll just chat about the climb so already straight into it um and we're at nearly 300 watts 23 24 25 percent it is insanely steep at the start you just don't get any kind of gentle running it is just steep so yeah that is where <laughs> it's like that's what's gonna come and so at this point i am thinking i need to try and reserve a bit of energy because i know how steep this monster climb gets so yeah maybe i will go back and maybe try and do like an all-out effort but this was a way for me of literally just get to the end my goal today was not like getting the fastest time it was literally just staying on the bike the whole way up and not having to get off and push because yeah but even that like i'm trying it's like what 350 watts it's ridiculous oh also as well i weigh maybe 64 kilos so if you want to work out what's per kilo i know people always say oh you know what do you weigh what what per kilo is that so yeah i'm already out the saddle and yeah here we are going up hard now honestly let me know if you've done it in the comments and let me know what you think of it because it is an absolute it's just incredible like why would anyone pave over that it is insane it's just so steep but it's such a good challenge so if you do want a good challenge then definitely go and give hard not a go make sure that you're there on like a good weather day you don't want it wet because it because it's so steep you want all the grip that you can get um and also for me like the tires that i'm using i'm using the michelin um power road which are so grippy and uh, yeah i'm using 25 mils just in case you want to know they're the ones that i'm using and i'm on the ribble endurance sl which is a super light bike and yeah great for climbing i've done loads of endurance rides on it as well obviously it's an endurance um frame but yeah that is what i am riding and if you can see the look on my face i am in pain i'm in the pain cave already i'm just like what am i doing here so 16 17 percent you can actually see my cadence at the top left like 56 which is just so low my speed five kilometers an hour and yeah just going around the first one of the first hairpins there's some brilliant little switchbacky kind of hairpinny bends on this as well um, and I knew on this one, I've just got to get out of the saddle because what I've learned over the years of riding steep hills is I used to try and stay seated just because it was almost like if it gets too steep, I can clip out quicker. Whereas actually it's so much easier just to get out of the saddle. Maybe that sounds really obvious to you, but if you are new or you're getting into doing steeper climbs, just try and get out of the saddle, get used to climbing out of the saddle. Um, I think it was because I felt like if I was sat, it's like it's quicker for me to unclip. But if you actually get out of the saddle, it just feels, the gradients just feel a lot better. So yeah, so in how this climb is, if you don't know, it's basically got a really steep section at the start. It kind of levels out in the middle. And so this, even at 14%, this is like a little bit of recovery. It's ridiculous. Absolutely insane that, like even that, like I'm, I'm only doing 200 watts and I am pushing. So I'm like, I just need to try and get a little bit of, a little bit of rest in, in between. And we're still at 13%. Like that now feels flat. That's what happens when you get used to riding like 25% as big as 12% feels flat. So yeah, that, that's how I'm pacing it. I know that the steep bit in the start, flat a bit in the middle, and then it gets ramped up towards the end. So I'm just trying to save my energy for that. So yeah, and if you can see on the road there as well, it's a little bit uneven. So you want to make sure that you're picking a good line when you're riding, um, especially on this, because there's a huge pole 
it's quite a few potholes to be honest so you just want to be really careful especially careful if you're coming from the other way um riding down it so the way that i've ridden it is kind of like classes the hard way which is from west to east and yeah but look at that view behind i love doing these videos of like filming me because you never really get to see you always obviously looking the other way so it is really nice to actually see the view behind it is bloody lovely i love the lakes I like the lakes a little bit more now because I finally got up hard. Not I used to hate the lakes, not hate it, but I just like I don't want to go there because I can't get up hard not. It's just defeated me and finally I have got up it. So yeah. So yeah, on the steeper sections, I'm just getting out of the saddle. Um but I'm just trying to stay seated in the kind of steady a bit, like the 15 percenters, just to kind of recover. you oh my days it's so good also i'm going to do um a video coming up on how i actually get the how i actually film these and how i edit it with all the the data overlay so that'll be coming up soon so if you want to want to see how i do it then i will share how i do it it is very easy very simple but yeah it's just a bit faffy and just a bit time consuming so you just need a bit of patience so yeah, again, I'm just taking it, trying to take it steady. I'm just trying to get my breathing back in, uh, but you can actually hear uh, my breathing on this. I am, yeah, even on this section, I'm, I'm, I'm really out of breath still because it's just so hard to recover when you're riding on 10% and you've just done 25. Actually, the audio, which is a bit weird, the audio is coming from my GoPro, so I'm filming forward just about so I can get the audio from it. Um, so you could. I sometimes think you can just see me but you don't really know how like hard I'm working um whereas yeah if you can hear also I did have a heart rate monitor and I forgot to put the heart rate data on but if you are really interested in my heart rate for it then you can have a quick look on my Strava all the details are there it's just Katie Kookaburra on Strava so yeah go and have a look I'm sorry I always promise that I'm going to put heart rate on and I just forgot but you can see from the watts and you can see you can hear from my breath like how hard I'm working in this, yeah, just blowing my nose again. Just whenever I'm doing climbs, I just need to blow my nose. My nose just runs a lot. Let me know if you're the same because, yeah, I'm not alone in my dog nose when I'm, when I'm riding. So the the stuff that I've actually got um, recording the powder is the stages. I've got a left crank stages power meter which I've had for maybe a year now. No, just under a year. But I had the second generation one on my old bike, which I had for like maybe four years. Really happy with it. And then got the the second, um, this, the one that I've got on there. Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> the one that I've got on there. So you can see that I'm really not really pushing that much watts at the minute. Also my knees, I fell over running. I shouldn't run, I should stick to cycling. And that's why you can see all those scabs on my knees. And I've got one on my arm as well. <laughs> so. I am like, one of my friends was like, you're like a little tomboy that's just been like climbing trees and stuff. But yeah, that's why I didn't come off the bike. I went running and I tripped over. <laughs> I am obviously a little bit more stable on two wheels than I am on two feet, apparently. So again, yeah, when um, it's getting steep, I'm just getting out of the saddle. But I think at that point, I'm just trying to stretch my legs a little bit, just, just to change it up a little bit. again look at the road it is pretty sketchy so yeah if you are ever going to be coming down it from the other way just be careful because it is a little bit sketchy again blow my nose a bit oh do you see that car wheel trim there we <laughs> we stayed after this and just for the fun of it it was such a nice day it did, did get a lot sunnier after this and um the amount of cars and stuff stopping and all that stuff, trying to get down it, trying to get up it. One guy like smashed all his rear bumper because he, he hit the side of it as he was trying to get down. It was literally, this van was on two wheels. I'll show you when that really steep section's coming up. Um, but yeah, that one is the steepest bit. I think that's where most people bail on it as well because yeah, it just looks bad. So yeah, if you tips I would say for riding steep stuff, get out the saddle, get used to riding out the saddle and just, um, maybe not i mean you don't have to put like all your effort in just to get up it but just try and get breathers when you can so that's why this isn't like all my power is really high all the way up because i'm just like i'm just saving the energy because i know what is coming i 
I'm struggling there. Like I'm just like, this is rough. It is probably the hardest climb. Yeah, it's the hardest climb that I've ever done. Just for, not because of length of it, I've done much longer climbs, it's only 2.2K, but it's just because it is just so steep and like almost kind of technical in that it's just trying to get your bike to balance and not the front wheel to pop up. Like you'll see in a little bit, my, well you can't see it very well, but my front wheel popped up because I was staying seated on one of the climbs because I just was so exhausted. I was like, I can't even get out of the saddle. Um, so yeah, you just need to try and make sure that your front wheel doesn't pop up because if you're too far back, your front wheel's gonna pop up. And if you're too far forward, the back wheel tends to like, like skid a little bit and just, yeah. It's pretty, I think that's what scared me last time. And also you've got cars and stuff on this as well. Generally the cars were really, really good. I think they could see like the pain in my face were like, we'll let this, we'll let this girl uh, ride past. We don't want her to have to stop and start again. Actually, that's another tip. If you do stop and you do need to start, go across, don't go straight up the climb. Put your bike at an angle, 90 degree angle to the road so you can get going again. And yeah, this is, is this a steep? Yeah, this is, this should be, is there a black car there? That was the steepest corner. No, coming around to it now. So that one is, yeah, that is the steepest section there. That little bit, like look at that pothole. So be really careful. Be so careful if you are going up or going down to like kidding? miss that because it is very steep. So yeah, at that point, like yeah, 21, 22%. Oh no, this is the steep, this is the steepest corner now. So there's a car there, he waited for me. But I wanted to take the outside lines because it was a little bit shallower gradient. I was like, no, I can't stop. I've got to go, I've got to go to so like, like 26% and so yeah at this point this is just ridiculous i'm looking at it thinking i don't even know how i'm riding up this because it is so steep and my friend um who was filming he you know it, it struggled just to try and keep me in the shot so yeah I'm, I'm i'm coming in a sec i don't stop I'm, I'm riding it but yeah you can see my power that i am pushing i'm like i'm gonna get up this climb and then at that point it does level off a little bit and it kicks straight back up. But yeah, that is the little bit of climb that you wanna save your energy for because that, I think that's um, where the photographers are as well in the Fred Witten Sportive um, because it is just a cracking view, a cracking corner, but it is steep. So all these cars were so good. I kind of like give them a little smile, like, thank you so much. I am dying here, but thank you so much for stopping for me. And yeah, at this point I am, just try to recover a little bit again, because again, it was still at 18%, like 320 watts. Because of that, you, you have to give it everything on those bends and those corners. So it is more like an interval thing rather than, for me it was anyway, more than like an all out effort. Because you have got these, I say flat sections again, it's like 18%, but that does feel a little bit flatter. And I'm able to only put out like 200 watts to get up it. And then this section here is the other really steep section. And, I'm a bit embarrassed because I really, I'm, I sound so dramatic. I just kind of squeal a little bit because it gets so steep. I can't get out of the saddle because I'm just pooped and my kind of wheel is going all over the place. I'm like, oh my God, I can't, I can't get up this. And I'm like, no, I've got to do it. And so I kind of had a little panic of, yeah. So you've got to save it. And so I do actually start um, zigzagging as well if you want to try and, ease the gradient a little bit just if you zigzag you just kind of lower the gradient a little bit so there and this is where i kind of is that where i kind of lose it a little bit and i'm like ah, yeah <laughs> look at my wheel i'm going all over the place i'm like i am not stopping all and all i should have done there was saved a bit more energy to get out of the saddle but i didn't and i'm pushing as hard as i physically can like 25 percent oh, look at that view that is cracking view of the lakes and like yeah even there the big van just stopping for us don't know how the hell he got up there with all that because it is so tight getting up and down and so we are getting to almost the end of end of the climb soon and at this point i'm like shouting my friend to stop to slow down so i'm like i need to be on the camera i need to be filming it uh, because that's the thing as, as much as i'm trying to get up it part of me is like in my head I'm like I'm trying to film the video as well so and he's done such a cracking job of like filming me and kind of waiting for me because he stops there um I'll try and pick it back up at this point now I am ecstatic so I'm like right that's it I'm almost at the end and so I'm almost like just trying to get my breath back and just being like I've done it I think I've finally finally done this climb 
And so, yeah, as I was talking about earlier, um, stopping and starting, the reason that I actually on this climb, I use SPD pedals, so mountain bike pedals, because if you do need to stop, it's much easier to clip in than trying to clip in and get the right size pedal up if you've got the SPD SLs. So if I'm going to attempt like a really steep climb, I'll always use mountain bike pedals. I generally wear them 90% of the time anyway, um, just because I prefer them. The ones I've actually got there are the Shimano ones, uh, which I really, really like. Two bows on them, just really comfy and really light, really stiff carbon soles. And yeah. So at this point, I'm like, head down, come on. We're nearly there, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. But if you do like, I know you like these videos, um, but let me know which other climbers you want to see me film and ride. Um, Cause I really love just going out and doing them anyway. And so it's really nice that I'm glad that you enjoy them as well. And you get to see these cracking views. Like look at the road surface. It is pretty bad up there because it is so high up. It's going to get all the worst weather. And that car was so, so nice. Just waiting for me. Another pothole. Keep an eye out for them potholes. At this point, I'm like, yes, I've done it. Keep going, keep going a bit. Keep going a bit, keep going. Keep going. Thank you! <laughs> I need to have a lie down. I'm made up. Absolutely made up. Right, what's next? 